Good morning. Good morning, Father. Welcome to our Community Mass at St. Bernadette's. Today's Mass is offered for the intention of the Reverend James Bastian. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. Then truly will the Lord, the God of hosts, be with you as you claim. Hate evil and love good, and let justice prevail at the gate. Then it may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will have pity on the remnant of Joseph. I hate, I spurn your feasts, says the Lord. I take no pleasure in your solemnities. Your cereal offerings I will not accept, nor consider your stall-fed peace offerings. Away with your noisy songs. I will not listen to the melodies of your harps. But if you would offer me burnt offerings, then let justice surge like water, at goodness like an unfailing stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the, to the upright, upright, I will show, show the saving power of God. God. Hear me, my people, and I will speak. <clears throat> Israel, I will testify against you. God, your God, am I. To the, to the upright, upright, I will show the saving power, power of God. God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are always before me. I take from your house no bullock, no goats, out of your fold. To the, to the upright, upright I will show the saving power of God. For mine are the animals of the forest, beasts by the thousand on my mountains. I know all the birds of the air, and whatever stirs in the plains belongs to me. To the, to the upright, upright I will show the saving power of God. If I were hungry, I should not tell you. For mine are the world and its fullness. Do I eat the flesh of strong bulls? Or is the blood of goats my drink? To, to the, the upright, upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, <clears throat> that you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To, to the, the upright, upright I will show the saving power of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus came to the territory of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs who were coming from the tombs met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, If you drive us out, send us into that herd of swine. And Jesus said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swine, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea, and they were drowned. The swine herds ran away, and when they came to the town, they reported everything, 
including what had happened to the demoniacs. Thereupon the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To me, I think this is one of the most haunting stories of the Gospels. It appears in Matthew and Luke. So let's talk about this for a little bit. There's a town that has a road into it that nobody can travel because it's being blocked by devils. So they're trapped in their town, or they have to go around the long way to get there. There are these demons that nobody knows what to do with that are causing people to act so savagely. So Jesus comes along, and of course, they recognize Jesus right away because Jesus is the Son of God. And they say, it's a a strange thing, the question that they ask, have you come to torment us before the appointed time? So they must have been aware of some kind of natural progression of things, that they were going to maybe have more time to to torment the earth, to, to possess the earth. They say, so if, if, if this is the case, then don't, don't kill us now. Don't get rid of us now. Let us go live in those, in those pigs. Now, of course, when the Jewish people hear that, they think, well, the swine is like the lowest of the animals, right? So this is like the, they're willing to settle for the least common denominator just to survive because Jesus' power is so strong. So he does, and then the, the pigs, they, they, they fall into the sea, literally Galilee. There's a, there, on the north side of the lake, you'll see there's a huge like, slope, which is where they, they say the town of Gerasene was, up, up on the top of the slope. And, and um, so, or Gerasa, I guess, the Gerasenes are from Gerasa. So when, when the, the pigs all die, right, but the demons are gone. But the part that I find so baffling, and I, I imagine Jesus would have found absolutely baffling was that when the people realized what he had done, they weren't glad. They asked him to leave. So I want to apply that to our situation today because I think that this is significant. I don't think these readings have ever had such meaning as they do right now in this time of pandemic. But we're surrounded by something that we can't control. And it would be just as well for many people to say it doesn't matter and that we don't need to worry about it, that we're we're really happy with the way things are. And even though that might mean that we're all going to get sick, um, it's okay, isn't it? Because that's just the way evil works. The first reading today is very clear. Through the prophet Amos, the Lord says, seek good and not evil, that you may live. So now let's consider the evil in our lives as if it were a pandemic. How many things are we willing to be content with that are evil? How many things do we wish to allow in our lives that are evil? Isn't it just easier sometimes to just let things go as they do? And maybe we'll get to confession or maybe not. Some people don't um, even have concern about that, but they'll find themselves settling for the least common denominator when we know that the power of Christ is something that can come and change us completely. Eliminate that from the world. It's like light and darkness. If you have just a match and you light it in a dark room, the room is no longer dark. And, and that's all we need to do maybe is to just strike a match of faith and let God handle the rest of it. But, but for us to then turn to the Lord and say, we'd rather you leave because things are just okay as they are. We really don't know what they might be if, if we were called to be more. To be comfortable with less when God is offering more, is a terrible thing. And to allow this kind of evil in our world, look look around, there's there's all this hate, there's this violence, Um, there's the issues of, of disregard for the poor, there is division according to race and social status and all kinds of things that we've allowed, we just allow, and we know they're evil, why aren't we doing something about it? Or are we just asking the Lord to just leave and not, not be involved in all this? We need to sort of um, undo the damage of our lack of concern in order to be able to recognize and name the evil that is among us and to change. 
This is clearly what Jesus came to do. And the demons even knew it right away. They said, this is not, this is, don't, don't, don't do what you're going to do because we know you're going to win. So the power doesn't even come from us. It comes from Christ. We find ourselves able to confront issues and, and large problems, even problems that might paralyze our town to keep us from getting in and out or where we need to go to be able to say this is something that with the Lord's power we can change. We pray to him today for this kind of conversion. Now let us stand for our prayers of the faithful. We pray for the church that her feasts may be acceptable to the Lord and that he may take pleasure in her solemnities because his own goodness is flowing in her like an unfailing stream. We pray to the Lord. For the nations, that justice may prevail at the gates of all peoples, and that their leaders may hate evil and love life, truth, and integrity. We pray to the Lord. That Jesus, the Son of God, may take up his power against the demons that plague our society, casting them out for the sake of the innocent who cry out to him for help. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all of those who are sick, for those who are suffering financially during this difficult time, for those who suffer from abuse, or those who are imprisoned or addicted, for all who are in need of healing and hope from the Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our dear ones who have died, that no demons may have power to touch them, and that the merciful purification of the Lord may soon release them into heaven's perfect joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we cry out to you in our need. We need you to deliver us from all the evil that is in this world, all the evil that we allow in our lives. We ask you to hear and answer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise of the Lord is name, for our good and good of this Holy Church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Christ our Lord. For by your word you created the world, and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same word made flesh as mediator, and he has spoken your words to us and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to you, the truth that sets us free, the life 
that fills us with gladness. Through your Son, you gather men and women whom you made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of his cross and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the angels, we proclaim your glory as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your son in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, almighty father, give us life through your spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your son and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, with all other bishops, priests, and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a good day.